Lydia, uh, great to speak with you as in, uh, ambassador for Indigenous Football Week. Wow, what an honour. How does it feel? Oh, it's pretty incredible. Um, you know, obviously, I think it's been a long time coming to, you know, really, um, you know, promote the game to Indigenous people. And, yeah, it's definitely an honour to, to be a part of it. Football transforming lives is the tagline, the theme for the week. It really can do that, can't it, football? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you just see how it um, has touched so many people in different countries. And I think, you know, Australia, it's just a matter of time before we can do that. You see all the people in Africa and um, in the Middle East. And, I, you know, I think it's just a matter of time before it really reaches everywhere. And yourself, just having a marvellous career. How how has your family and, and community supported your dream? Oh, you know, they've, they've always supported me when I was young. I always had a place to go and play um, outside and, um, you know, meet new people and learn how to, you know, be independent. And I think that, that's helped me with my career so far. And I'm, I'm definitely really thankful with, with how I grew up. And all of us players, of course, and I'm a, I'm a bit older and a bit greyer, but we all have our own our own journey and own barriers to overcome. Uh, tell us about some of yours. Um, you know, obviously growing up um, in the desert, there wasn't, I guess, football wasn't really a, a sport, um, and especially in WA. Uh, there's always AFL and, you know, basketball. We you get a lot of the Indigenous athletes in the AFL coming over to Kalgoorlie. So for me, it was, I wasn't really exposed to, you know, playing football at all. It was just something that was fun to do. And um, finally, when we moved over to, to Canberra, I was like, okay, well, now there's a competition that you need to play in. Um, so I chose football to really kind of take off from there. And, um, you know, it was hard leaving family and friends and, you know, everything that I grew up with. My dad taught me how to live off the land and about the indigenous uh, cultures and, and customs that, you know, were in the bush. I learned how to, you know, hunt and make fire and live out in the desert. So that's something really special for me. And, um, you know, something I'll always cherish. But obviously, you know, moving to a bigger city, you kind of have to move on and learn how to, uh, I guess, develop a different part of your life that, that you may not, uh, a lot of people don't actually get to do. So for me, it was, uh, you know, really difficult with that transition. Uh, but, you know, here I am <laughs> living in different countries and, you know, representing Australia. Oh, amazing journey. And you've had to make so many transitions between cities and countries and so on. How, how has football contributed to your well-being during that time? Uh, you know, when I was growing up, we travelled a lot in the desert. So, um, you know, that's obviously helped me learn to make friends and be comfortable with travelling. Um, but football, you know, it's I think in just in general, it's helped me be able to focus a lot on... Um, you know, a goal in mind and how to stay focused and be a team player. And the disappointments that I've had in football has, you know, helped me with, you know, disappointments that I might have had during my, my life, injury, um, you know, family uh, deaths and, uh, you know, issues like that. It's just kind of, you create a family within football and you have to become almost closer than family because you literally go through the very highs and the very lows. And I think, you know, that that's definitely... A good support system that you can you can't get anywhere else. And we want Indigenous football to have a voice in Australia. Um, how do you see that happening? Uh, you know, I think we have to get out there to the communities. Um, you know, Indigenous people don't want to leave their family. They they're happy with you know where they are. It's their way of life. So you know, in order for them to be exposed to football, we have to go to them. Um, and you have to create. Uh, a family to them and, you know, not just go for, you know, one day or one camp. You actually have to create a relationship and make them trust you and create like a, um, you know, a bond that, you know, the AFL do it so well, but football haven't haven't done that. And I think that's, you know, one part that really needs to be explored. So could you just shape or articulate your vision of Indigenous football for us? Um, you know, I'd love that there would be, you know, multiple, you know, camps or, um, you know, t tours a year for, you know, Australian footballers to go out into, you know, desert communities and just, you know, maybe not even just play football, but just 
speak to them, um, learn about the culture of, uh, you know, our Indigenous communities because it's something special that they hold very closely and it's, you know, it's something that no real Australians have really experienced. And I think, you know, the more that we can expose everyone to that, I think there'll be more Indigenous people will be more receptive to, you know, hey, let's go <laughs> go to Sydney, go to Melbourne and, and try and make a career out of it. And I think, uh, you know, that's something that we really need to, to pick up on. And just finally, you going forward now, uh, what are your own personal goals for the remainder of uh, your career? Well, obviously, you want to win a World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's some really exciting times ahead. I just want to be, you know, the best player that I can be for myself and for my team. And, um, you know, I just want to inspire people. I'd love to be, you know, um, well, be, you know, Batildas to front line, you know, whatever the next, Thing, the big thing in Australian football is whether that's, you know, maybe we go out into Indigenous communities, we win a World Cup, you know, whatever it is, I want to be a part of that history-making team. Well, you have already made history, uh, Lydia Williams. You are an inspiration already. Uh, keep fighting the good fight for Indigenous football and thanks for joining us. Thank you.